Okay, today we are doing something a little educational. Of course, we all know that tech education is important, but I take a different direction than everyone should learn to code. I think everyone should try and be a bit more technically proficient to not be at the mercy of their tech. Look at it this way. Not everyone needs to be able to build a bicycle from the ground up, but really if you own a bicycle, you should know how to adjust the seat and view a flag tie without going to the store. And if you don't, you are going to end up stuck someplace in a bad situation. I think there is a car analogy there too. I don't have a car, but if I did, I would learn enough to keep me out of trouble. Tech is the same way. 90% of what you need to know, you can learn in an hour or two. Today, we are going to talk about general purpose computers, like a laptop. General purpose as opposed to a cell phone, a tablet, or a single board computer like the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to teach you to take an old-use computer and turn it into something useful, perfect for learning to code or most business and personal use. Gaming is a whole other issue and something other channels will teach you about. This is also a perfect setup for kids and teenagers who need a computer. And if you teach them to install Linux themselves, you've pretty much taught them to fix any problem they have themselves. Just tell them to keep their files on a USB stick until they get the hang of things. Although, as I said, not really a gaming setup, but I'm trying this enough, I think that's a feature, no distractions from starting. When I learned to code online, I was in college and just had my cafeteria pass for meals and a bit of Chinese New Year money. Choosing a laptop to buy was a really stressful experience because it took all my savings. If I knew then what I know now, I could just I could have just bought a used laptop and done fine. So I want to share this with you in case you are in a similar situation. If you are going to buy a used laptop, I recommend the ThinkPad X220 like this. This one has an i5-2520 processor, 4 gigs RAM, 120 gigabyte solid state hard disk. If you can find it 8 gigs instead of 4, it's worth it, but not a huge deal. Some people like something a little faster or newer, but for our purpose, I would like to keep it under $200. So no reason to get more computer than we need. I brought this one for 1220 RMB on Taobao, or about $178. And you can find a similar one for about the same on eBay if you look around. Today we are going to install Linux on this used laptop. Oh my god, Linux is so difficult. Nah, not really anymore. They work really hard on making it user friendly. Once you know how to install it, you can bring new life into pretty much any old PC you have lying around. We are going to use a version of Linux called Mint and it has a few flavors, but I like XFCE because it's very really lightweight. Lightweight in this case means it only uses a little bit of the computer's power, so it will run pretty quickly on any PC made in the last 8 to 10 years. We will need a USB stick with the Linux Mint installer. I'm going to show you how to make one, but if your computer does not have an operating system when you get it, you can also buy one online. I'm going to put the URL in the description box. Okay, we are going to go to linusmin.com and click download. The version we want is XFCE. And then we are going to go to Etch.io and download for wherever your computer is that you are doing this on. Windows or Mac or Linux. And then you are going to select that ISO of Linux Mint that we just download. And we are going to put in a USB drive and make sure there's nothing on that USB drive that you need because if you override it, it's going to override the whole drive. So put that in and then you are going to click flash. And a couple of minutes later, 
you have what's known as a live USB and you can boot the computer off that USB and you can install the Linux Mint operating system or you can just try it out to see if you are going to like Linux Mint and anytime you want to override your computer and just completely reinstall the operating system just use that USB and you're good to go now I'm going to start up a computer and uh, it's going to go to something called the BIOS you don't need to worry about that you don't have to worry about uh, all this acronym and then I'm going to keep press keep pressing F1 so that I go into the BIOS and I'm going to set it uh, set the configuration to uh, USB so that it start off from a USB and look for a system from there now we are in a ThinkPad setup so in ThinkPad you press F1 you can go into the BIOS but for different laptop it has um, you press different keys so if you don't know just google it and I'm sure you uh, people will tell you which one to press and now we are going into startup boot and press enter and we are going to move uh, USB HDD on number one now you are going to press um, CTRL and plus oh sorry it's shift and plus now is uh, at the first place so we press F10 save and exit save configura configuration changes and exit now yes and then let's put in our USB So now if we start again, it's looking for uh, something on USB and we just inserted the Linux Mint installer in So now it won't be Windows that's showing up, that's gonna show up So it boots right off the USB and on the USB it has uh, install Linux Mint so now it's like the same thing I showed you last time in another video but uh, this time I didn't use the SSH I, instead I use a USB and welcome install English continue English US yes keyboard layout and connecting this computer to a Wi-Fi network allows you to install third-party software install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware flash, mp3 and other media Continue. The com this computer currently has Windows 7 on it what would you like to do? installing this means alongside Windows 7 continue select drive install now continue restart now So now we are going to press Linux Mint 19 XFC. And then I'm going to Taobao. Compared to Windows 7, I feel like this is much more quicker, much more responsive. I prefer to use Linux in any case, in any circumstance. 
Okay, now uh, after this, we are going to the application menu and take a look at their. They have on the menu. They have office, and let's go to the Libra office. There's this one is just a trial. So. Why document? Really? Uh, that's 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 it. It's a really short video, but I just want to show you. You can just if anything happens, you can just use a USB and we install Linux. It's safe. It's fast. It's modern. And if you want to learn to code and do anything on it, you could. And I'm going to shoot more videos on this uh, $180 laptop. This is a used laptop. Just to just show you, you don't need those fancy, expensive equipment. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Please subscribe and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all next time.